There's a little hair mark. Hello, you guys. What is up? Welcome back. If you guys are new here, it's very nice to meet you. I hope everybody watching is doing well. I hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves. So, you guys, today's pick a card is going to pick a card on where, where are you meeting um, your next partner? Now, here's the thing, you guys, and I do say this in every pile. Yes, you could be meeting them online. This is a possibility for all the piles involved because online dating is such a prevalent thing in today's society. I want to talk about where, the physical location, the energy of the location, okay? Um, I think for all the groups, I got specific locations, but I also then talked about the energy that the location has and how we'll be feeling and, you know, things like that, just to help give you guys a description. So. That's what we're doing. We're doing the bowl at the end of each reading. So there's that. Uh, and yeah, so I'm excited. If you don't like me or if you don't vibe with me, um, my readings aren't for you. I only connect to those people who vibe with me. This is just a part of my spiritual hygiene. So no offense, but I'm gonna ask you to go. And everyone else, here's a clip of the piles right now. All right, you guys, these are the four piles. We have group one with the angel or quartz cluster, group two with the zodiac dice, group three with the rose quartz, and group four with the black moon stone. If you guys need a moment to meditate on which pile is calling your name, you guys are free to do that right now. And if you want to pick more than one pile, you guys are always welcome to do so. Now that you guys have picked your pile, please go ahead and check out my description box downstairs. We have the different timestamps for when your reading will start. And with that, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into today's pick a card. Hello, group one. We will go ahead and start off with the zodiac dice. This is just extra confirmation, you guys. Just extra. It's just a little extra, okay? Gemini and Pisces, sun, moon, rising, guys. Pisces and Libra. Cancer in Capricorn, sister signs, hello. Taurus and Sagittarius, I feel like one more. Scorpio and Sag, okay, beautiful. Um, Pisces is here again and Libra is here again. Um, Aquarius is here in the cards as well, you guys. So first card, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Pentacles, you guys, is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy. This gives me very much work vibe energy. And there's other cards here that also signify we are meeting this person through a work engagement. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be that we work with this person. It could be that we have like a, a company Christmas party or we have, maybe we're going out with our coworkers when we meet this person, right? That's what it feels like, okay? It feels very, like there's money involved in how we're meeting this person or there is a more professional vibe around how we meet this person, you guys. And there's cards here that also indicate the professional vibe um, that I'll get, get into in a second. But the uh, Knight of Pentacles is really just talking about stability, groundedness. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who, um, when he does a job, he does it correctly. He may take a little bit longer. He may move a little bit slower, but he's going to make sure that he does that job correct, okay? So this is all about work. This is all about ambition, but doing things the slow and steady way. Now, we also have the moon here, you guys, and the moon talks about secrets being revealed. Now, I don't know if y'all can see in this particular imagery, but do you see this? these two women here? So sorry about the mic. Um, they have masks on their face, okay? And there is a theme throughout this reading of us wearing a mask when we meet this person. So I don't wanna say Halloween because I don't know, but again, there's this level of like, professionalism or you guys know you guys know what I'm talking about right when you're at work or when you're in a situation that is considered more professional at least here in America you're expected to be like hello welcome to blah 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 blah, blah. you know like you have your your fake voice you have your professional voice you guys know what I'm talking about so that's what I'm getting from this and the moon talks about secrets being revealed things that are hidden in the dark so it just makes me feel like there's an energy of not necessarily being 100% yourself when you meet this person so that's why I'm getting this energy of professionalism or maybe being a little bit uncomfortable or unfamiliar with the setting that you are at, like where you are physically at, you may be a little bit uncomfortable or again, it's just in a work environment where you are required to be professional. I know in other countries, it's not as like a big deal to be super, hi, 
Oh, welcome to, you know, like I know that's not like other countries are, you know, more normal. Um, but here in America, you know, we have to customer service. So yeah, a mask is what I'm saying. We, we There's an energy of fakery and not in a bad way, but just in a professional way. Now we also have expansion here, you guys. And I do want to remind you guys that this is a group reading. So there are multiple different wares that I'm going to be talking about. This um, shows up a couple times in the reading. I feel like this is talking about being at the gym because the three of swords, the three of swords, the three of wands is about expansion, right? So automatically, like my mind goes to growing our muscles or trying to like, you know, bulk up a little bit. That's where my mind goes with this. Now, obviously we could also be in school, you guys, because we're expanding our minds when we're in school. So I want you guys to think of a place in which you would be expanding something about yourself. That is a possibility of where you guys will be meeting, okay? But again, automatically for me, the first things I think about is like the gym, freaking school, maybe we're at the bank. I don't really think y'all will be at the bank, but it, it could be, possibilities, right? <clears throat> expansion is what's coming up with that card so you guys will be expanding wherever you are you will wherever you're meeting them you will be expanding that's just for some of you again i am feeling like for most of you it's like a more work professional environment and i guess school can fall under that um maybe if it's in a gym setting maybe we have an energy of being more professional because we're uncomfortable or maybe it's like our personal trainer or something like that I'm not sure, but that is also coming up. Now we have Libra here with justice, you guys. Again, when this popped up, I was like law school, law school. So I don't know if any of you are in law school. If you are, it's very possible you will be meeting your next partner in law school. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Now with this card, I am feeling like <clears throat> you guys are will be on even playing fields where you meet, right? So if you are feeling like you have to present yourself in a more professional manner, I also feel like they will feel the same way. There's an energy of not being one's true self where you guys first initially meet because environment has a lot to do with how you behave. You guys know what I'm saying? Like if I'm at a party and I'm relaxing with my friends and I'm comfortable, you're gonna get a different version of me than if I'm at work in the office and I'm like, hello welcome you know like you're just gonna get a different version of me so it, it's feeling like we are both in a situation or you are both in a situation where there's a need to be more professional and you guys are both going to share that feeling right <clears throat> now because it's justice obviously i don't know if you guys um share a law background you guys will be meeting this person like in a courtroom i don't see why you'd be meeting in a courtroom i do just want to point that out because obviously it's justice um so yeah maybe they work in law maybe you work in law i don't know if like you're meeting them on their lunch break or they're meeting you on your lunch break that is a possibility you guys <coughs> now we have teacher so yet again, I am very much feeling for you guys, group number one, that there is an element of school. There is an element of learning. Again, school and work for me are interchangeable. It feels like the same energy because we're, if we're in school, we're working towards getting a degree or getting some type of like higher education so that we can then go to work. So it feels the same to me. Anyways, we're learning something again, talking about expanding or growing our mind with that three of wands, you guys. We have thought right next to that, which literally thinking, processing thoughts, learning yet again. It is possible for some of you that you may be meeting them in a library. I know I'm being very specific with these things, but I just want you guys to understand that there is like, there's this energy of us just feeling like we have to be like, hi nice to meet you like it doesn't feel like we are meeting them at a party where we're relaxed it doesn't feel like we're meeting them in an environment where we are completely feeling comfortable <clears throat> it feels like we're meeting them in an environment where we are being more professional there is more of this like again school energy or work energy to it so thought we have the hedonist Hedonist. I know some of you guys get mad at how I say that. I'm so sorry. Um, it says inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life, celebrates the beauty in yourself. So again, this reminds me very much of like 
that gym energy, okay? Health and wellness, if you will. So I don't know. For some of you, I'm feeling like that's a possibility. Obviously, you guys, it's a group reading. So again, I do have to bring up multiple options here. I feel like for a lot of you, you're meeting this person again, like with work being intertwined, either at like a work party, maybe they are literally your coworker, or perhaps you even, cause here's the thing guys, if we're talking about dating apps, a lot of people use dating apps these days. I'm not talking about you using a dating app and oh, we met through a dating app. No, 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 no. I'm talking about where are you meeting in person? Like where's your first meeting at, right? If you were meeting this person, where is it? I'm feeling like if you, even if you do meet this person virtually on a dating app or via online, we're still focusing on the physical place that you guys are meeting. <clears throat> and I just want to make it clear to most of you, I feel like there's work involved. We're like going on our work break or we're going on our lunch break at work or we're going like directly after work to go meet this person for like drinks. But it feels like work is intertwined. Maybe you guys are even in the same field. Now we have falseness, you guys, and that is going back to what I was saying about me feeling like you guys are in a professional environment or you have like your professional voice on, you have your professional mask on, if you will, okay? We are presenting ourselves in an energy of falseness almost, okay? But then right next to it, you guys, with our moon card, with our Aquarius moon, we have literally show the world the real you. So I am feeling like this person is going to make you guys feel very comfortable to open up. I just feel like the initial meeting, there will be some uncomfortableness and there will be this energy of like putting on a mask or being more false, if you will. <clears throat> the last one I have is the distorted masculine. Work, okay, work. Um, this is literally, I mean, there's military in the background, there's the bank, there's police. Um, this is all about work, money, things like that, you guys. So again, I do feel like work is playing a heavy role in where you guys meet. You may be meeting them um, in a place that is like close to your job. Because again, I do feel like for some of you watching this, you're gonna meet this person on like, you're gonna be like, hey, I'm on my break. Like, let's meet for lunch or whatever. I was gonna say drinks. I was like, you shouldn't be drinking if you have to go back to work. But anyways, that's your business. Let's meet for drinks, let's meet for lunch, let's hang out. And I feel like it may be a place around your job or their job, okay? <sighs> Again, some of you, you may be meeting on campus, you may be meeting in school because we have teacher and thought there, also with the justice. I also feel like it's like an even playing ground. It's an even, you know, I don't feel like there will be an imbalance in regards to where you guys are meeting. That may also be signifying that justice, maybe signifying you guys meeting in the middle. So, I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but meeting somewhere in the middle. Uh, so let's get some notes to see if we can get any extra confirmation. Where are they going to be meeting this person? Did I say Halloween earlier, you guys? Because we have grunge aesthetic and I know not, I know Halloween's not necessarily like grunge, like, you know, it's for everybody, but grunge aesthetic could be connected again to Halloween. We also have creative and rare. Ooh, <clears throat> have an olive skin complexion. This could be you or them. Again, we have creative. This could be talking about getting creative. Again, expanding your mind, expanding your brain. And again, I did mention Halloween earlier with the whole mask thing, with the falseness. That is a possibility. Did I mention that? I feel like I mentioned it in my mind and I don't remember if I said it out loud, but Halloween may be the time of year, like around that you're meeting because we have creative here. I was talking about the mask and the falseness. We also have the grunge aesthetic. We have rare, which, you know, Halloween comes around once a year. It could also be like a rare occurrence that you get like a day off perhaps. And that's when you guys are meeting. We have dark brown slash black. This is hair, eye, skin complexion. Either you or this other person. We have compassionate. This is either you or this other person. We have I miss you, you guys, which for me, I miss you could be talking about a place that you have gone once before, but perhaps you haven't gone in a while and you're meeting them at this place. Um, and we have a light brown, which also you are them, okay? I feel like we need more because I don't want physical descriptions. I want like, you know, uh, we have February, which February has passed. So maybe it's next February. Uh, body of a goddess slash God, the gym. What is this? 
handsome either you or them but yeah okay that's that's that you guys so basically what i'm getting school work involved working with our work schedule in order to meet school i think i already said that gym that type of energy all right you guys so group one that's what i have for you guys let me know below if this resonated or if you know who i am talking about well, let me know thank you guys i love you and i'll talk to you really soon bye hi guys okay group number two let's go ahead and roll we have libra and leo libra leo gemini cancer sagittarius pisces virgo and libra sun moon rising you guys your sign potentially your next partner sign show the wheel of fortune this is what i'm feeling guys this is what i'm feeling it feels like we had plans all right i had planned to go to work tomorrow and live my normal life and then go to the grocery store go to the gym okay you know life <laughs> and the winds of change came in and something happened to where all of a sudden oh I need to take the day off. Okay, maybe I shouldn't use the next day, but let's say this. <laughs> Our friend, we're taking a week off, an unexpected week off, or we're taking an unexpected day off, or we're taking an unexpected turn of events, okay? There's an unexpected turn of events, you guys. And I'm seeing it as like, we had plans to do one thing. We were just kind of going with the flow, going with our normal routine. And then somebody comes in and they're like, hey, do you want to come to like freaking Mykonos with me? Do you want to? And it, obviously I'm not, you don't gotta go to Mykonos, but you guys get my drift. Do you want to come and do A, B, and C with me? Do you want to come here? Do you want to go there? Do you want to do this? And then all of a sudden you have new plans and it's like a a turn of a change okay there's change coming in the wheel of fortune talks about good luck bad luck karmic balance so i'm seeing this as the way you and your next partner where you guys are meeting it has to do with a last minute plan change okay a last minute like i last minute decided to take next week off i last minute decided to join my friend on a freaking hike on saturday i last minute like it feels like it's not something that we necessarily planned. It doesn't feel like it's something that we necessarily had anticipated on doing. All right. It's like a, that's what I'm getting with that. Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo, your sign is in that card. So hi guys. Um, all right. Now we also have the sun here. Sorry. We also have the sun here, you guys. And the sun talks about radiance, happiness, and success. So I'm feeling like whatever, wherever you guys are, you're having the freaking time of your life. I'm seeing this as like, I don't know. For me, my happy place is the beach or my happy place is like on a hike. I love hiking, you guys. So for me, I feel like if I were to, my dream ideal situation to meet someone, it would be like at the beach or I don't want to say on a hike because that's giving me a little bit of like sus vibes. But like, you know what I'm saying, you guys? It's just feeling like we are out and about doing something that we really freaking enjoy doing. Now, I said this in the last group and I'm going to say this in every group. It's very possible, you guys, that you are meeting this person online. I don't know why I'm doing quotations. It's very possible you meet this person online, either through a dating app or through social media of some sorts. Um, but that's not a physical meeting of like, I mean, technically we've met, right? Like we've met you guys because we're online together. But like, we haven't met in person. So the where isn't like we, ha you know, we're talking about where you guys like a physical where. So when you guys meet, yes, it's very possible that you are meeting this person online. Very possible you meeting this person on a dating app or something like that. And if so, always be careful, you guys. But again, it still feels like there's like a change in plans. We weren't anticipating on going on a date. We weren't anticipating on doing this or doing that. And it feels like whatever it is or wherever it is that we are meeting, it's going to be a place that we really enjoy. It's going to be a place that perhaps we've been to before and we've had a lot of fun um, in that location previously. It could be outside, you guys. Now, with outside dates, if you have not met this person or if you if you have met this person like online and you're not with like a group of friends, I do just want to encourage you guys to make sure that you are in a public space, a space that is public, okay? Um, where there are other people around just because, you know, I want you guys to be safe. So, but the point is with this card, it makes me feel like we are going somewhere super fun. Like we're gonna 
again, like go to the beach or we're going to like do laser tag or we're going to do something that you enjoy doing. Okay. I don't know what you enjoy doing, but whatever you enjoy doing, I feel like your first meeting location will be at a place that you have a lot of fun at. Okay. Maybe you like mini golf. I don't freaking know. Okay. Like I don't like mini golf. I wouldn't feel the sun about mini golf, but maybe you do. I don't know. We also have the three of cups. So I am feeling like for a lot of you, it is very possible that you're going to be meeting this person when you're out with friends. I'm specifically getting like a bachelorette party or something like that, or perhaps like an engagement party. Like I feel like we're out with our girlies and we're dressed all cute. If you're a guy, then obviously like you're dressed, you're going for a guy's night, you know? I don't know about that life, but you do you, sir. P point is we're getting dressed. We're looking nice. <laughs> We're going out with our friends and we're having a good time. Okay. That's what I'm feeling like is happening for most of you. And again, it's going to be in a place where we feel really happy. It's going to be a place that we really enjoy being at. Now we have the two of cups, which it makes me feel like you guys are meeting at this place. It makes me feel like you guys are meeting when you're out with your friends, you're having a good time. You're like, woo, look at us looking all cute, having the sun and then boom we're meeting. Now again, you guys, it's very possible that you meet this person online. It's very possible that all this is still true and you're having fun and you're like enjoying the location in which you are at and you guys have this really strong connection. I do feel like I didn't shuffle for the other groups yet. I'm shuffling like as I get to each group, but I do feel like you guys, um, this group, your next partner, I feel like it's going to be a more serious connection. I don't feel comfortable saying too much more on that, but it does feel serious because we have marriage. Now, again, this could be like a bachelorette party where we're meeting this person. Point is, this is still signifying a celebration. Marriage is still a celebration. So if we're not meeting them at like a bachelorette party or if we're not meeting them at some type of, um, you know, marriage related wedding, it's, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but the point is you guys, marriage is still a celebration, right? When people have a <laughs> wedding, we're celebrating. So maybe it's your friend's birthday, maybe it's your birthday, but I do feel like we are out, we are celebrating. And again, it's very possible that you guys are meeting this person online. I have to keep saying this just so you guys understand that like it is possible you meet them online and then you guys go and you meet up at like your favorite bar or you go and you meet up at a place where you've had all this fun with your friends, right? Not necessarily that your friends have to be involved, but it could be a place that you're familiar with going out and having a good time with your friends, okay? Shaw, we have a journey as well. Is travel involved, you guys? Are you guys meeting Mykonos? Didn't I say Mykonos? Okay, obviously I know like most of us watching this are not gonna meet our person in Mykonos, but point is it's very, very possible that we are traveling or having some type of journey. Now, I can also look at a journey as like us driving to the beach and we meet this person, or again, perhaps we're driving across town. I don't know if like your favorite bar or your favorite restaurant or your favorite fun activity that you enjoy doing is like all the way across town. That's also, or your city or whatever. <laughs> That's also a possibility, you guys. So keep that in mind. There may be some distance between where you live and where this location is. If you guys have not been to this location before, I still feel like it's a place in which you're going to have a lot of fond memories and it's a place that you're really going to enjoy being at so much so that even if this is like a one and done situation or like you and this person never go there again, I feel like it's very possible that you will want to go there after this encounter or after this meeting. Does that make sense? Now we have pioneer as well. And it says passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. Okay. So a pioneer is someone who forges their own path, you guys. So again, it does feel again, like we are doing something that is fun, that is fresh, that is perhaps brand new for some of us. Okay. It could be that we're meeting at like a, like our first date is going to be a date where we're doing like the clay. The, you guys, mm -mm -mm. okay. Or perhaps we're like painting for a first date or doing like a wine, a wine painting session, something like that. But I'm feeling like, again, like we're having fun. Like it feels very carefree, very like, woo. It feels happy and light and silly. And we get to like get dressed up, be cute and have a lot of fun. Like that's, I don't know. The experience itself feels really fun. 
So we also have a liberator. So, okay, I'll just read it to you. <laughs> liberator, it says freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. So liberator, again, you guys, I feel like taking it back to the wheel of freaking fortune. I'm feeling again, like you guys had plans to do something else or you had plans to just go about your day to day. You were like, oh, I'm going to work next week or oh, I, I gotta clean the house and do the dishes and blah, 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 blah. Uh, all these things, A, B, and C, and then we're getting liberated by these plans, right? We're having more freedom with these plans and we're getting excited that we get to do something fun and exciting with these new plans, with this wind a change coming in to be like, look, do you want to go on a date with me? Do you want to go do laser tag? Do you want to go mini golfing? Do you want to go bowling? Whatever the freaking fun thing it is that you will enjoy. It's an energy of being free, of having fun. It feels like an active, location. Does that make sense? So I don't feel like we're going to be sedentary. I don't feel like we're going to be, and it could be that we're at a restaurant, but if we're at a restaurant, I almost feel like it's like an interactive restaurant um, or a restaurant that has a really fun, uplifting environment. The environment, you guys, doesn't feel stagnant or serious. The last group, the environment felt very, um, and not in a bad way, but just very like, professional and this feels like almost the opposite of that where it feels like woo we're having a party we're having fun we're getting loose okay which is reinforced by this Aries full moon you guys I love and admire Aries energy so much because Aries have this energy of having fun letting loose living freaking life I love this energy so much and I'm feeling like this is the energy of the location in which you guys will be meeting, okay? A fun, lighthearted, fiery energy, okay? And it says a fiery climax approaches a full moon in Aries, okay? So, I don't know if you guys are doing something physical, and I don't know why I'm like moving my body like this, but it could be that you guys are doing something physical together. I don't know if it's like an escape room or something like that. It could be that you guys, again, meet online or whatever, you'll meet however you'll meet if it's not face to face, but then you're meeting, like your first date will be in like an escape room or we're, we're doing something physical. And I know like mini golf can be physical and like bowling can be physical, but I'm feeling like there's like an exertion of energy because of that Aries full moon, okay? So, then we have adult freedom. All right, adult freedom. Um, this is just making me feel like we are feeling very free, very woo, again, enjoying ourselves. Adult energy, you guys, is about pleasure. It's about enjoyment, right? So this just backs up everything that I've been saying with the freaking sun, with the wheel of fortune, with even the Aries energy that has been coming in, the pioneer energy, the journey. It feels like we're just having a gosh dang good time. <laughs> I just feel like we're having a lot of fun, you guys. All right, we're enjoying ourselves. We're having a hoot, we're having a holler. I'm gonna go ahead, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead, you guys, and get some notes from the bowl to see if I can get any descriptive words describing you or this person. <clears throat> you know what's so funny? Is luck is on your side showed up and that's literally the wheel of fortune, okay. All right, we have a lot of freaking, oh, and we have 11, 11. We have spicy. Isn't that kind of funny when adult energy just popped up? Spicy. So maybe you guys are getting spicy. I don't know. If you're not into that, rebuke it. But like spicy energy's here. Um, we have water here. But spicy could also be fun, right? Spicy has that Aries energy. It's fun. We have water, so I don't know if you guys are into water sports. Perhaps you guys are meeting at a place where there is a water reservoir, okay? <laughs> like a lake, a river, an ocean, okay? We have no time. And very soon. Okay. We have out of the blue. What did I say, you guys? We have plans. We have plans to do something else and our plans get a flipped. They're like, hey, do you want to meet on on Friday? And you're like, oh, I didn't know we had plans. Well, now we have plans. Like I wasn't anticipating on us meeting so soon. Or again, it's like your friends are like, hey, do you want to do that? And you're like, oh, I'm taking next week off now. Mykonos. Okay. 
<laughs> we have luck is on your side, you guys, which we already know. Oh, we also have December. Maybe this is all taking place in December. December is a time where a lot of us take time off. So that also makes sense. Now we have three numbers here. We have 2028. 20, you can look at this as an age gap, you guys, okay? Um, if you want to, you could also look at this as perhaps your birthday's on the 20th or the 28th, maybe their birthday's on the 20th or the 28th, maybe you guys meet on the 20th or the 28th of December. And we have 11, so maybe even the 11th or 11 oftentimes is associated with soulmates and twin flames and things like that. And we have that marriage here, so two and two together, okay? Um, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope that helped. This is a group reading, so I'm not gonna be like, you're meeting at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> you're meeting at, again, I did say bowling alley and mini golf and things like that, but I'm not gonna name your local bowling alley. Like I just, the group wouldn't resonate. So that's what I have for you guys. We're having freaking fun though. Let me know below if this resonates. If you know who I'm talking about, thank you. If you've already met them, thank you. I love you so much and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Okay, bye. Hello, group three. Welcome to your guys' reading. I'm gonna go ahead and roll. Cancer and Scorpio, my favorite duo, hello, Gemini and Capricorn, Pisces and Virgo, Libra, that's it, just Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, you guys, your sign, their sign, this is just extra confirmation, um, Gemini's here in the cards, as well as Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, here's the thing, group number freaking three, a lot of you guys are going to be meeting this person online. There's multiple Oracle cards here that signify that. And I, I do want to bring this up in every group because online dating is such an, uh, like a normal thing today. So I do just want to point it out that it is possible for you guys to be meeting online. However, we're talking about the location in which you meet and I don't want to be like the internet you're meeting on the internet. Like, no, I want to get the location. Okay. Or the vibe of the location. So that's, is what we're doing where you guys will be physically meeting the location in which you'll be physically meeting so <clears throat> i did just want to point that out that like internet stuff has popped up so anyways nine of pentacles group number three bouge bougie 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 bouge okay rich expensive so we could look at this a couple different ways, right? This is a group reading, so keep that in mind. We could look at this as an expensive restaurant. We can look at this as an expensive date. We can look at this as an expensive experience um, or an expensive environment. I don't know if you guys are long distance with this person. That's a possibility. Um, that's obviously not for all of you, but it could be, I don't wanna say hotel room, but it could be an expensive hotel room. Perhaps if you're meeting them at their house, it could be like they live in a really big, rich house, okay? It, it's also possible, you guys, that when you guys are meeting this person, it could be that they're invited to your birthday party or you're going to someone else's birthday party and there's like gift giving or some type of generosity involved. But the Knight of Pentacles just talks about luxury, abundance, having the money, okay? So, a bouge, a bougie experience, bougie environment. We also have the King of Pentacles, bouge, bougie environment. Um, the King of Pentacles is somebody who's grounded, stable. He is very much reliable. He's one of my favorite kings because of that. Um, now here's the other thing, you guys. I do have to point this out because this is showing up with these two pentacle cards. It's very, very possible, group three, that you're meeting this person through some type of work experience. I'm not saying this person's your coworker. That's a possibility. Or it could, like I said, be that you're meeting them through some type of work experience. Now I wanna make it very, very clear to you guys, group number three, the reason why I'm focusing on the bougie energy is based on the entire reading as a whole and not necessarily these cards on their own because I'm very aware that the king of um, pentacles is somebody where he's focused on being ambitious, right? He's stable, he's grounded, he's all these great things. The nine of pentacles, you worked really hard for your money. So yes, this could indicate work and meeting them via work or something like that. A work event however based on the other cards it makes me feel like these cards are more so talking about there's there's a lot of money being spent on our meeting on the location on the environment in which we are meeting <clears throat> uh the empress is here which also indicates that right the empress is luxurious luxurious 
She's abundant. She's also someone who's very creative, um, feminine as well. So I look at this as like a very beautiful place. Like the room is lit very beautifully. The decor is pretty. The, the, the aroma coming from the room is gorgeous. Like it just feels like a very decadent experience, a very decadent place where we are meeting this person. So it really does just make me feel like we're meeting them on like a super, super fancy restaurant or a super fancy excursion that they're whisking us away on um for our first meeting right this person is definitely trying to impress you or perhaps you are definitely trying to impress this person but someone's trying to impress someone because it feels like a lot of money is being dropped on this meeting <sighs> there's effort being put in okay <clears throat> Now we have the lovers here and the lovers talks about two soulmates coming together or two people joining together in union. Sometimes this also talks about um, looking up to your highest good and like choosing the path that is like best for you. In regards to location, it could be that like this person or you have picked a location in which is going to impress the other person the most because you're you really like this other person or again they really like you and they're wanting to show their effort and they feel like that is the best option for them in order to like further or advance their relationship with you or you with them because I don't know who's setting up this meeting but one of you is setting up this meeting and whoever is setting it up is putting in effort because they have an interest in impressing you or you have an interest in impressing them okay so Maybe a coworker setting you guys up. Like maybe a coworker is like, oh, I know someone. That's a possibility for some of you because again, we do have a lot of pentacle energy here. Now we have the warrior and it says strength, skills, discipline, and toughness of will. Heroism, heroism or heroism um, and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego, okay? So this person could be very disciplined, you guys. I'm getting a very disciplined energy from this card. So again, it may be a situation where this person is very wealthy or this person has worked really hard to set up this date or to set up this meeting. Um, it doesn't feel like this meeting is without effort. Like it feels like we're putting a lot of effort or this other person is putting a lot of effort into this meeting. That's what I'm getting from this warrior card in regard to a location. It's a location that has been thought about. It's been planned. It's not just like on a whim where it's like, we can just, I'll just meet you where the frick ever. Like, it's like, no, I've thought about it. I'm putting a lot of thought and um, planning behind that. That's what I'm getting from Warrior. Now, it's also possible, you guys, that this person is somebody who is in the military or who is seen as like a warrior. It's also possible that the person has been through a lot in their life and that's why they are popping up as this, as this warrior in the weeding, in the weeding. <laughs> we have athlete as well. <clears throat> so obviously, when I think of athleticism, I think of being in the gym. I think of perhaps being out on a run. I think about performing in some type of sport or physical activity. So yes, it's possible that you guys are meeting this person in a location in which they are performing a physical activity or you are performing a physical, a physical activity. This could also be talking about meeting at the gym or meeting, um, again, while we're doing something physical, while we, while we are exerting our energy, okay? That could also just be in reference, you guys, to this person or you being someone who really does value um, being athletic or sports. Oh my God, maybe you guys are meeting at a sporting event. Like maybe you're meeting, like maybe they're like, oh my God, that costs a lot of money too though. So maybe you guys are meeting when you're like, oh, let's go to a freaking football game, a hockey game, a baseball, <laughs> okay? Bad situation. We're meeting at like a sporting event perhaps. Communication is key, you guys. Um, new moon in Gemini. So this does make me feel like we are meeting this person online or through some type of internet situation. Um, I don't know if it's an app or if it's like Instagram or what the frick like ever, but maybe TikTok. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. 
what people are doing. But this is a situation that could be happening online. The initial meeting, okay? And again, this is not what I wanna focus on. We also have message here, you guys, which this just kind of confirmed for me that for a lot of you watching this, you will be meeting them online or engaging with them, talking, conversing with them via the internet. Um, <clears throat> and I know that's not for all of you. So if you don't feel comfortable meeting people online, then I support that because to be honest, I don't really feel comfortable with that either because I just don't, I don't know. I got trust issues. I got, <laughs> things have happened, okay? There's been some stuff. So I understand, right? If you don't wanna do that, don't do it. But I do feel like for a lot of you, you will, the initial meeting will be online. But the physical meeting in person, I feel like there's a lot of money or a lot of thought being put into this meeting. We have the gift, which again, just makes me feel like this person or you are spending a lot of money on the meeting. A gift is something where it's like, oh, I'm giving you this nice thing, this nice thing to show you how grateful I am for you or how excited I am to meet you. This could be signifying perhaps them bringing you like flowers or you bringing this person flowers, perhaps bringing a bottle of wine or bringing some type of like token of appreciation for us going or for you giving me the opportunity to spend time with you. Now, this could also, again, be seen as this person or you spending a lot of money on this meeting, on this date, on this excursion. Show. Sure. There is that, you guys. Now, this is the last card here, and this doesn't really have to do, I mean, it kind of does, but this doesn't really have to do with how you guys are meeting or where you guys are meeting. We have soulmates, okay? Now, I'm gonna say something, and this is gonna be for a very select few of you. I know in my city, we have a butterfly exhibit, and I've always wanted to go there. If someone took me on a date to the butterfly exhibit, I'd be like, you're my soulmate too. So um, you guys could be meeting at a butterfly exhibit or some type of exhibit like that where you are around plants or insects or perhaps even like a zoo or something like that. But anyways, the point is um, with this soulmates card, it's very possible that you and this other person will be getting on very well, have a very strong emotional connection. I always look at soulmate energy as more of an emotional bond and not necessarily physical. So keep that in mind. Great confirmation. I'm gonna go ahead, you guys, and pull from the bowl to see if we can get any descriptive words of you or this other person. Can I get some info for group number three? Ooh, there's... Did soulmate come up again? It literally did, guys. What the? Yeah, that's lit. You guys see that? All right, we have a birthmark slash mole. You were them. We have a dainty. Didn't I say Empress Energy? I feel like the room, if you guys are meeting at like a restaurant, it's going to be very soft and elegant. And I feel like it's going to smell really nice. It's going to look beautiful, dainty, okay? <clears throat> we have Piriot, which is talking about that's the end. So perhaps you guys are going to see this person or this person's going to see you as like the one or end game or even soulmate energy, right? We have Cancer. Hello to all my fellow Cancers out there. Love you so much, Cancer. We have Light Brown. Um, also with the Cancer card, you guys could be meeting in July, but or June, the end of June early July, end of June. Anyways, light brown, hair, eyes, skin, complexion, you or them. We have money. <laughs> Working on myself. Some of you are meeting this person at the gym or when you're doing some type of athletic experience. Working on myself, okay? Makes sense. We have fire, passion, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, hello. We have a January. Obviously January is past, so perhaps next January will be when some of you meet them. That could be your birthday, perhaps even their birthday. We have different from you. So different from you, you guys, is talking about perhaps you guys being very physically different from each other, or perhaps you guys coming from different backgrounds, having different life experiences, but still being able to connect. I know for me, some of the people that I love the most and have had like beautiful connections with are people who had completely different lifestyles than me. We have eyes the window to the soul, okay? And we have curvy slash thick. So again, descriptive word of either you or this other person. Sure. That's what I got for you guys. Group number three. Thank you guys so much. Let me know below if this resonated. Let me know if you're excited. This feels like a good group, all right? So yeah, 
thank you and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Okay, bye. Hi, group four. Um, I'm gonna start off you guys with rolling the dice. Cancer and Leo, hello to my July children. Um, and I know, Cancer, June, Leo, August, but like we come in the middle. Sun, moon, rising, you guys. Um, Libra and Leo. Cancer and Leo again. <laughs> Cancer and Gemini. Cancer and Libra. Cancer and Aries. Libra and Capricorn. Okay, so so many Cancer. Hello, Cancer. I love you so much, my fellow Cancers. We also have all the fire signs here, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Starting off, we have a need for curiosity, okay? So the way I see this group number four is the environment or the place in which we are meeting this person. There's a lot of inquisitive energy in this place. There's a lot of things that we are curious about in this um, area in which, or this structure, this place, I don't know, because we could be outside, right? But we have a lot of curiosity about this place. It makes me automatically go to like an art museum or a history museum or even like a garden or something like that. Like I feel like wherever we are meeting this person, there is inquisitiveness, right? So that just automatically makes me think of like we are in an environment where we're learning something or where we are seeing things that we wouldn't see out and about at the grocery store, you know? So yeah, it's giving me very much heavy energy of a museum of some sorts, an exhibit of some sorts, a garden perhaps, we're learning about the plants, um, maybe even like a metaphysical exhibit. I don't know. I feel like it's something that we're interested in. I don't know if you guys are meeting at an event where we are learning or we are getting some type of information, but this is a curiosity. So the place where we are meeting this person, there's curiosity in the air. We also have passion, so it makes me feel like it's something that you guys are excited about. This is like an, a passion to start a new journey, a passion to move forward in a new journey, right? Sometimes this talks about spirituality as well, but the main thing I want you guys to take with this is where we are meeting this person. There's inquisitiveness, we are curious, we're also excited and passionate about this place that we are meeting. So what are you guys excited and passionate about? I know for me personally, I'm a really big history nerd. I love history. I love all types of history. So for me to go to like a history museum or something where I'm learning about things that are old, that would get me really excited on a date or in an environment where I'm meeting my next partner. That would make me excited and whoo, you know? Now, um, here's the thing, you guys. I said that's in every pile. It's very possible that we are meeting them online. Um, however, this reading today is more so about the physical place in which we are meeting. So like our first date, our first encounter, our first hangout, okay? So yeah, museum energy or just somewhere where we are learning something or we're inquisitive, we're interested, we're paying attention um, and we're excited about it, we're passionate about it. <clears throat> we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Together, they make the king and the queen. The king and the queen are married. Okay, you guys, so for me, it makes me feel like you two are a very good match. And I know this has nothing to do with like where you're meeting, but I feel like this is almost talking about you guys energetically meeting in the same place, okay? Energetically, we are meeting on the same level because the king and the queen of wands are on the same level. The king of wands is somebody who is very charming. He's very charismatic. He's funny. He's likable. He walks into a room, you guys, and he can just charm. I was gonna say charm the pants off, but not necessarily charm the pants off, like literally, but you guys get the expression, charm the pants off of anyone. Like he's very, He's charming, he's likable, okay? Um, and the Queen of Wands, and he's also very handsome. He's described as a very attractive king. The Queen of Wands is also described as a very attractive queen. But she, you guys, is in a position, as you guys can see here, she has her little black cat, her little Thackeray Binks right next to her. And that black cat signifies her merging with her shadow side. So the Queen of Wands understands that she is not just beautiful and charismatic and all these amazing things. She also understands that she has a shadow side and she has merged with her shadow side. She understands that she is both light and dark, okay? So we love that. A self-aware queen and a charming king. We love it. Now, <clears throat> a new start is coming. We've got a new moon. 
Um, love this energy. So this is something fresh. This is something we haven't done before. The place in which we are meeting this person is a place where we have not been before. Or it's a place that we don't have that much familiarity with because if we did, then we wouldn't be curious, right? So with this card, you guys, this is telling me that you guys are, again, meeting in a in an area or in a location in which you have not been before. It's also very possible, you guys, that this connection is very fresh, very new. Um, you guys are still getting to know each other. You guys are still very inquisitive of each other, still very curious of the connection and where it's going to go. Now we have the networker, okay? And this is enhances unity through sharing information. It talks about social awareness and empathy as well, you guys, okay? So with this card, this is telling me that perhaps you guys are meeting this person while you are networking. So this could be related to, this could be related to business. Um, however, for most of you, I'm feeling like this um, networking could be talking about social media and again, meeting online of some sorts and like exchanging messages. As you guys can see here, there's like little letters coming from her from her hand she's like passing along letters okay now yes you guys could be literally like social net or networking in regards to business i don't know if any of you guys are in real estate that's a possibility for some of you and maybe you're like networking um in that asset i don't know why that's popping up but there's that uh okay we also have femme fatale and it says highlights the erotic energy of the feminine opens your heart when you when your dependency is rejected so there's a very seductive energy around this meeting or where you guys are meeting, okay? I don't know if this is just like the tension in the air. It kind of feels like that. And I'm just gonna skip around you guys because like there's another card here that also gives this energy. I'll talk about it a little bit later, but desire and femme fatale to come up. It just feels like there's like this tension between you and this other person so yes i do feel like you're meeting in a place where you're you're excited to be there you're very inquisitive about uh you know what it is you guys are experiencing together you're interested you're paying attention perhaps you both are asking a lot of questions back and forth but in the air of the environment there's a sense of like fire passion I don't want to say erotic, but it just feels like there's a lot of physical adult tension between the two of you. And I'm feeling like that's filling up a lot of the atmosphere, okay? So, yeah. You guys could be meeting at a party as well. That's a possibility for some of you because obviously you can network at a party. Obviously, there could also be this desire and adult tension at a party. But we could also be inquisitive and like passionate to be there, excited to be there. We have surprise here. <clears throat> so this kind of goes back to what I was saying about the party. You guys could very well be meeting at like a house party or even like, I don't know if you guys are going out to a club or going out to a bar or something like that and celebrating, but that's another possibility, you guys. This surprise for me feels like we are meeting in a location that is unexpected or we're meeting again in a location that we have not been before. So there's this energy of surprise. Now, we also have intimacy, all right? And intimacy, you guys, talks about quite literally it feeling very personal, okay? So I don't know if you guys are meeting, like if you're meeting at each other's houses, that's a possibility for some of you. I don't wanna pretend like that's not a possibility. I know not everybody feels comfortable with that. So 100%, if you don't feel comfortable with that, don't do it. Um, but this intimacy makes me feel like it's personal. It makes me feel like, we're meeting again, like at a house party, like a friend of a friend or a friend, um, or we are meeting at each other's houses and we're meeting and it's like an intimate setting. It could also be like a, a small restaurant where there's like an intimate setting and perhaps they have like pictures up on the wall or um, interesting decor that we're like inquisitive about. Maybe that inquisitiveness is just talking about us being very inquisitive with each other. I don't know, but I'm feeling like the environment, there's a lot of adult energy there's a lot of adult tension there's curious there's curiosity involved as well but it feels like um the main thing that I'm picking up on is like this intimacy it being very personal it being very close to the touch okay so locations locations again museums freaking 
art, history, whatever, whatever, where we're learning something, maybe even a garden. Um, it could be that we are at a historical location, you guys. It could be that we are going somewhere and uh, we're having to learn how to paint, we're having to learn how to do the little clay thing, we're having to learn something, right? Um, we're also excited to be there, we're passionate to be there. For some of you, we're meeting them at a party, could be a surprise party, but uh, there's definitely adult energy in the air like other people who are around if there are other people around they're gonna be able to feel the tension between you and this other person i'm gonna go ahead and get some descriptive words for you guys of either this person or you oh no all right okay so how funny is that that freaky popped up I really do feel like some of you may be meeting like for Netflix and chill and I'm not judging anyone on that like live your life be safe take care of you okay um yeah okay so here we go we have stunning this is you or this other person there's attractiveness involved us being attracted to one another blue slash green this could be eyes um this could also be us meeting outside perhaps we're having like a picnic you guys okay and I know that sounds like or having a picnic but because it feels so intimate and it feels so personal that's why I'm saying a picnic right like it feels more so like we are it's one-on-one -on -one and it's very and you know how sometimes like you can't meet at a movie theater with someone and it be intimate unless there's nobody in the theater um you can't really meet at a restaurant and it be intimate unless it's like a small restaurant so it just feels like wherever we're meeting this person it's an intimate setting and there's a lot of curiosity and excitement in the air okay um, we also have an event. So maybe you guys are meeting at a networking event. Like I was saying, we have a piercing. I don't know if you guys are going to start dating your local piercer or tattooer, but that's a possibility. Um, we have handsome, which I already said, yes, king of wands is very handsome. We have older as well. There may be an age gap an appropriate age gap because we don't tolerate inappropriate age gaps. Um, we have Venus, which is love, luxury, Taurus, Libra, energy. We have a round face. We have introvert, which again, kind of gives me like a Netflix and chill kind of vibe, followed by freaky, which again, gives me a Netflix and chill kind of vibe. So if you guys are open to that, or you're open to just like meeting at someone's apartment or meeting at someone's house and like having a chill time, that's totally okay. If you're not okay with that, or that's not something that you feel comfortable with, I totally understand. Don't accept things that you're uncomfortable with, like ever. Only do things that you are comfortable with, you guys, okay? We have music, okay? So maybe you guys, again, it feels intimate. It feels like we're sharing music with each other, okay? It could be a place in which there is like music in the air. So again, a restaurant, an intimate restaurant. Also, I feel like some, some museums play music, right? I feel like that's a thing. Anyways, we have masculine. Maybe you guys are meeting at a concert. Well, that doesn't feel that. That doesn't feel personal. That could be a situation for some of you, though. Anyways, we have masculine. Descriptive word of either you or them. We have glasses here, so you could be someone who wears glasses or contacts, or this other person could be someone who wears contacts or glasses. We have wavy as well, so this could be hair texture. This could also be talking about perhaps being on a beach. Sure. That's what I got for you guys. Group number four. Thank you guys so much. Um, let me know below if this resonated or if you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. So thank you. I love you. And I'll talk to you really soon. Okay. Bye.